Hey, what's up guys, Cam here, and welcome to another video. So last week, I went to a Cuban comp, Guildford Winter 2023, and quite a few things happened to me. So today, I'm gonna to talk about them, talk about all the good things and bad things that happened. So let's get straight into this. All right, so before I go over everything that happened at the comp, I just want to go over what my goals were going into it, because I think I had like three goals going into it. One of them was just to get a top 100 average in the UK for one of three events, at least. That's clock, blind, and multi-blind. We're gonna be finding out later if I actually got any of those. Another one was to break some of my old PRs, like for square, one and five by five because my square one and five by five PRs were not too great. And the final one was just to make some friends because I did not know anyone at that comp. All right, so the first event of the day was five by five. And yeah, I'm not gonna be showing you all of my solves in this video because that will take way too long. But anyways, in five by five, I did manage to beat my PR single by quite a lot. I think it was like a whole minute or something. And I actually managed to get my first average in five by five in comp, which is a very good achievement. And so that means I've beaten PRs already which is a good sign, one of my goals complete. Talking about goals, I actually managed to make friends and they are actually in the back of my 5x5 PR single, which we will show now. So yeah, that solve did actually have a few mistakes, but I don't know, it's still a good solve. I managed to beat my PR single by a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna be showing you the other rounds of five by five. There was only one other round, but I'm not gonna be showing you that because nothing great happened. <laughs> I've messed up quite a lot. I think it's because there's a little bit of pressure because the man that made the method I used, Robert Yao, he was judging me for one of the solves as well. So yeah, that was cool. Anyways, let's move on to the next event. All right, so after five by five, it was multi-blind. I didn't get any video of that because you know, it takes up too much story. But anyways, I get a few pictures i attempted two cubes in the hopes of getting success which unfortunately i did not get but yeah, multi blind is still interesting i did get one out of two cubes anyways i was standing next to ben stokes if you don't know who he is he is insane at blind in general and he was doing 21 cubes in the picture you can see like, all of his cubes and you can see my number of cubes uh but yeah it was kind of crazy multi blind is just a crazy event anyways let's move on to whatever's after multi blind i don't actually remember the schedule all right so for me after multi blind was square one and square one from that competition doesn't bring back too many great memories just because of one thing which i will touch on in a bit i did break both my pr single and average by quite a lot of seconds i think my pr average by like like six seconds or something like that I, i'm not sure and i did beat my pr single by nine seconds so that's pretty cool however the sad thing about that whole round of square one i missed the next round by one place just one place anyways uh you can watch my best solve from square one right now Yeah, that wasn't too much of an impressive solve, but still with my PR single. Uh, I'm not going to show you the next round of square one, because I didn't make it to the next round of square one. Uh. Alright, so next is something that made me a lot more happier than that round of square one, and that was clock. And there is a big reason for that, and that is because I am now in the top 100 in the UK for clock average, even though it's just 100th place. But still, that's the top 100, and that's quite cool. Uh, I didn't actually get any of my solves from that round of clock. I did get my PR single from the second round, and I think that's the only clock solve I have recorded from that competition. So here it is now. So clock was pretty good. I'm now 100th in the UK for a clock. That is a win. That is top 100 tick from that goals list. All right, so the final event that I did at the competition was blindfolded. Yeah, this was my chance to get one more top 100. Uh, so here's how that went. Yeah, that's right. I DNF'd every single solve. I thought I could have got a success. You know, I got one success in that competition in blindfolded when it didn't matter. And that was a multi-blind. 
why am I like that? Anyways, uh, you know, I thought I, I could have done it in that round, but apparently not. So now I've got to wait for another competition to get a blindfolded to success. All right, guys, that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.